Okay, I am going to demonstrate to you a second way that you can make a Google Classroom uh, GIF that is going to put some motion into your Google Classroom banner. So um, some of you had probably already seen um, that I did this. Um, at Actually, I did this as an example for today's class. And I did this in Google Slides. And then I also used a Bitmoji extension that I have here. And I also use a Google search where I went and found some transparent bats um, that you know I'm saying um, that I put in here. Now you can see I, I put in all, um, I put in three slides. I have a video of it that you guys can watch if you're interested in how that works. What I'm gonna show you today is another way which would be using your Canva account. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Canva and I went into the Panther TV one. You can do your own, but you're going to have to do a background removal um, in a different place if you're not using our pro account. So I'm going to do a Google Classroom um, header. And what I'm really wanting to do, the reason why I'm typing this in right here is I am going to do templates. Um, it's mostly just because I want to make sure that I have the right size in here as well. And, um, and that's what I'm going to use. So really all I'm wanting to do is to get into, um, I really just want to blank a blank slate but so I'm just going to grab this one here and then I'm just going to delete everything off of it because there's some things that I want to do um, I'm I am going to make mine seem um, kind of Halloween-y um, and I'm going to use skeletons is what I'm going to use so I'm showing you how I just want the uh, a blank slate I'm going to go ahead and I have already Googled um, skeleton and there is a reason that I am picking for a uh, yoga poses. So I'm going to click on this. Then every time that I am getting um, an image, I'm just going to do save image as and I'm going to share all of those to the desktop. So I'm just going to keep going from image to image and I want all of these different skeletons that are in different uh, poses um, so that I can do something with this. So I'm going to grab a third one here. I'm just um, right clicking it or it's a, actually a double click on my computer and I'm just saving the image as, saving it. Um, keep doing some more here. This one looks pretty um, interesting. Oops, I don't want to open it. I pushed the wrong thing. I simply, um, I just want to save image as. And I'm going to get a couple more. Um, oh, there might be a watermark on that one. I'm going to come here, do some more save image. Um, I'm going to do some more with saving image. Um, let me keep looking. Okay, maybe. That's all I'm going to be doing. All right, I'm gonna leave it right there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my Canva and I'm gonna to go to uploads. And what I'm wanting to upload now, and you guys can see I already did put some other skeletons in here earlier. I'm gonna upload my media. It's on my device because I just downloaded it all. And I'm going to go ahead and go to my downloads and I, um, or did I show I, I put them on the desktop. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of those. You guys know that you can also hit command and click on each of them to bring them in and I'm going to open them. Okay. Now this is what's going to be happening with this is I am going to set up my first set of skeletons and then I'm going to be making um, a duplicate in order to change a lot of its motions. Okay. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to go ahead and pull in this kind of, I said this was an interesting one. I'm going to go ahead and pull him in here. Okay. I want him to be, um, and to be honest with it, I don't think it's going to, it depends on how you want to design it, but I am going to go ahead and do a background remover. Um, I suppose if you were just using a white background and you weren't changing anything else, it wouldn't really matter. Uh, but I do want to 
to do that just so that I have some options in case I do want to change it. Now I'm going to have this one always correspond with this one. So now I need to um, bring in a, I'm going to bring in this one here. Um, over here, I don't want them to be completely side by side here. I'm going to go ahead and bring him all the way to this side. I'm going to hit effects. And the reason why this is highlighted so that I can do a background remover again. And this one I am going to correlate with a specific other one for the next slide, which will probably be this one here. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull in um, this one too. So I'm just gonna pull this one right in. I'm gonna make him bigger here. And once again, I'm gonna click on effects. I'm going to do background remover and I'm going to bring him out like this. Okay. Now what I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to hit duplicate page. Okay. So now the reason I kept these in here, cause I do want to kind of have them in the same place. I said that I want this to be the second motion. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this in here. So see, they're kind of like in the same place. Okay. About the same size. I said for this one, I wanted it to be the opposite one. So I'm going to come over here. And then for this one, I'm going to do this one again right here. So these will be the different motions they're doing. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to duplicate the page. And then I'm going to see what other things I have on here. I am going to bring in... I like it, which one I want. I'm going to bring in this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger and kind of maybe even bring the head into that a little bit. Um, this one here, I'm going to be funny with this one. Actually, I just realized I have his, his leg cut off. Okay. I'm going to bring this one in right there to make it look like um, he knocked his head off. Okay. Now, the problem that I need to do with that, see, because they're like side by side, I'm going to make them a little bit bigger, like, hey, you hit my head. This one, I'm going to go ahead and do effects and do background remover, the same thing. And you guys can see this one, um, it kind of looks like it, like with a white background too, but it has a checks, but it is not um, transparent. So I'm going to do effects there as well and background remover. Okay, so now what it is, I have all of these things here, okay, to where I could, I could do a lot of things with it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to keep it kind of basic. But then I am going to come back afterwards and show how you guys can get creative because that's really what I want you to do is get creative. I want you to learn this process of how, how you can make some of these, um, you know, um, motion, um, media in your Google Classroom, uh, but I also want to show you how to create um, and do a little bit more. So I am going to download. Um, I download as a JPEG and um, I'm going to, I want hundred percent quality and I am going to download them all together. And I'm doing this just so that everybody can to uh, gain an understanding. When I, you download multiple ones, so there's three of them that I downloaded, it's going to share it as a zip folder. Okay. Or uh, like a zip file. What happens with that is I have to come back over here and either you're going to have to go to your downloads and double click on it or I'm going to have to click open in order to open that folder because now it made it, I mean, it was zipped and now it made it into a folder. So when I click, I have all three of my things that I just did there. Okay. Now, um, I didn't realize I had a line around it. I'm probably going to change that. But anyways, that's where they're at. So now what I'm going to do is I put in there, I found this free online uh, GIF op um, optimizer. And what you can do here is I can go ahead and um, that was the last one that I, that I just did there. I'm going to go ahead and go uh, back to GIF Maker so I can start all the way. It says to go ahead and choose files. So I did open that one that I just showed you, uh, which is in my downloads. So that's where I'm going to go. It was called Purple Welcome. I could have named it whatever. I'm going to go ahead and highlight those three. I'm going to open them up. Um, I mean to upload them. I um, 
am going to let the site pull it in as well. And then I'm going to look at the order. Yeah, that's where I like it. I'm going to slow it down a little bit, though. Um, I'm going to delay it by 30 because and then I can still look at it and change it again if I want to uh, do that as as well. It says toggle range of frames. Some of these, I'm just gonna go ahead and look at it now and go ahead and have it make it. Now, after it makes it, what's really nice with this is see, now I kind of see all of this stuff going on and it did not, oh no. I'm gonna have to go back and fix it because I, do you guys see that's not a transparent background back there. It didn't go all the way through. So please, please, please be careful when you're doing this. So I'm gonna go back to my purple thing. So I have to go all the way back and what I thought was um, a removal here, when I do uh, remove background, it, it didn't upload all the way, is what they're saying. So I'm going to try to re-upload it one more time. Okay, I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to do effects and background remover. I'm going to wait completely because I want that checkered pattern gone. The other thing I was noticing is I am going to take, for some reason it's showing this line. It was like showing a line. I don't like that, but I'll still leave it. I'm going to have to do it all over again. That's why sometimes we make, make sure things are okay. Quality, I want it high. I'm downloading it again, and it's going to go ahead and download it as a zip file, and that's okay because I know that I just need to open it. I'm going to go back to, let me close that for now. I'm going to go back to my animating right here. I'm going to go back to Gift Maker right there. I'm going to up, whoops, I got to choose my files first. See, I'm going trying to go way too fast. Um, those are not, I don't, let me, I'm going to go to downloads to see if that's really which ones I want. I want the one that has the one in it. Do you see I was being careful with it because those should be have been the ones that I just corrected and then I'm going to go ahead and open it. I probably should have named the file a totally different thing. It's saying that it can't find it so I'm going to go back again. I'm going to try to find it again and open it and I'm going to now upload and see if it will make my GIF there. Um, I'm going to change these to 30 again. Um, just to kind of see it. And actually, you know what? I might save some. I'm going to make the middle one go really fast because he's the one that like knocks the guy's head off. I'm going to go ahead and make it. And so you guys can see all of this stuff that's going here. Okay. The thing that's really cool about it is you could go ahead and um, optimize it if you want. And you can also do things with effects. Okay, so see, I have all of this stuff going on here, and I didn't know what a lot of those effects were until I started coming down here to looking at it. And all of a sudden, I was like, oh, I do want to make these negative. Okay, and I'm going to show you in a little bit what that is like. Um, I did flip some of them before. I'm not going to do that with this one. I'm just going to kind of leave it. Um, I don't think there's anything else I really want to do, so I'm going to go ahead and apply, select it, and look at that. You see I'm saying I have my skeletons that are moving. Um, I like it. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to hit save. And there I have my GIF that I just made. So that would mean since this one I made uh, with you guys, I am going to go to Panther TV. It was third hour that I was doing this with. I'm going to go ahead and hit here upload actually it wasn't third hour I was doing it in. I was actually doing it in sixth hour. So that's the one I made with them. This is one I made last night where I was a pumpkin thrower. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upload photo. Um, I'm going to select it because I know that I just downloaded it. So make sure I get to my downloads. And then there it is right there with all of my um, skeletons that are supposed to be like they're dancing or moving and kicking each other in the head. And I am going to, sorry, my mouse gets a little wonky sometimes here. See how big I can make this so I can get as much of these uh, little skeletons in there. I do not know what is making my fingers so slippery with my finger mouth. I can't get it to stick. Holy smokes. So I'm going to go ahead and leave 
Oh, wowzer. <laughs> Seriously. That's really bizarre. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead, after I have all that in there, select class theme. And now you guys are going to see it brings in my motion. Okay. Now, some went ahead and were asking me other questions. Um, I, If you can do Bitmoji, you, um, I would recommend like putting it in maybe a Halloween costume if you want to have a Halloween-like um, or think it through kind of, of what you're trying to design with it. It does look a little different because every time we go ahead and upload the theme, it's still going to kind of be a little bit grayed out. It's just what Google Classroom does. Okay. So anyways, that is a second way uh, to do this using Canva. I told you I was going to show you some other ideas that I had. So I am going to come back here. One thing you guys could do with some of the effects, I could actually come in here and make all of these a color. So then I would know like that they're all going to be the same color um, with each of them with the effects. So then I'm going to come back here. I can't get it on the effects. Not letting me have it. I thought this would work. Um, I want this one to be a different color, so I'm going to have him be sea green. And then this one here is going to be mustard. Okay, so you see all of the skeletons are different colors. I thought it would be kind of interesting. So we come back to this one. I want to make that one. Um, oh, that's not what I want to make it. I didn't pick the right thing. Um, so I'm going to go and try to undo it. Um, and that's not working. But that's another idea that I was just thinking as, oh, I know why, because I did not do the background. I didn't do a removal. That's why. It's not bringing it in because it still had the white background. So it's going to give you more um, capability. It should now just leave the pink skeleton. As I go forward, yep. Yeah. Um, so see, that's why leaving the... If you remove the background, then you're not going to have to do it later. Um, I said I wanted to make him green. I want to make him green. Oh, see, I didn't do a background remover. You can kind of tell by the choices they give you. Um, as soon as he is, the background's removed, I'm now going to go back and I'm going to make him green so I can make him look sea green. Um, now, this is going to be interesting down here because... These are the same image, but there I have an idea of how to do this. So like this one here, I'm going to go ahead and make him see green. But see, I'm going to make this other one a different color. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way like this and crop it. And then I'm going to make sure I have it. And then I'm going to bring it back over here. And then I'm going to crop it the other way. So then that way I, I'm going to have the two different colors there where he's going, hey, my head. And then I'm going to. Um, make him mustard and I'm going to make him mustard but I got to remove his background first and then I'm going to make the other top one mustard just an idea that I had that I thought hey this would be kind of um, a different it just it just popped in my head all right um, of adding some interest plus I had another idea it was actually after I had done some of the inverting I could then come back in here and if I wanted to do a background and actually make the background black on here I could do it and it just adds some interest with it oops that looks like a different color though doesn't it anyways that's a whole nother way it looks totally different I would do the download the same way I would then upload them into my easy GIF and, um, and then I would create it. So anyways, I'm so, so excited to see what you guys come up with. Uh, please uh, just keep trying. Um, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments um, or shoot me an email and I will see if I can help you. So happy creating. <laughs>